Hey everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. This is going to be a multi-part tutorial. First, I'll show you how to configure Fraps for high quality video capture. Next, I'll show you how to import and edit that video in Adobe After Effects. Finally, how to export that footage in high definition video so that you can upload your video to YouTube or share your video with others over the internet. Open up Fraps and select the Movies tab. Here you can select the folder you want to save your movies in. Uh, you can set your video capture hotkey. I use F11 in this example. Okay, here's the important part, the video capture settings. For high resolution video capture, you want to select full size. This is the frame rate. Um, 30 FPS is okay for video game capture. In the custom box, I put in 40. Uh, 40 FPS is actually really smooth playback and it allows me to slow down the footage a little bit if I want. Again, just in conclusion, 30 FPS is pretty standard, but you're gonna need more than 30 if you wanna do slow motion. Uh, for audio, record Windows 7 sound in stereo. That's gonna be your game sounds. That'll be Ventrilo or TeamSpeak. Record external input. That's gonna be your microphone. To record, just keep Fraps open in the background and press your video capture hotkey to begin or pause the recording. Go to the file menu, select a new, new project. Select the composition menu, new composition. And here I'm gonna do 1080 high definition. All right, for better performance, you can go to HDTV 720-2997. That'll make a smaller video. Uh, but if you want a larger video, higher resolution, select HDTV 1080-2997. And that's what we're gonna use in this example. All right, and here for the duration, um, I'm gonna start off in about uh, 10 minutes. Select 10 there, click OK. So now I've got a new 10 minute composition. Next, let's import the Fraps video. Go to the File menu, select Import, File, and select the Fraps videos that you wanna import. And for this example, I'm just gonna import two and uh, click OK or click Open. You can see that the Fraps videos appear in the project window here. I'm gonna select those videos, drag them down to the timeline. And here you can see they appear in the timeline. The trick here is to arrange these videos so that the second video starts where the first video ends. All you do is select the second video and drag it to the end of the first video. And you can click this, you can click the shift button so that it snaps to the end. There's a seamless transition between the end of the first video and the start of the second video. Um, if you click this button, you can zoom in and uh, zoom out into the region of interest. Looks good so far, but there's a problem. Uh, the size of this video doesn't quite match the size of the, the video window. So you can, you can fix this one of two ways. You can do it manually by uh, dragging the corner of the video, resizing it, or you can do it automatically. The way I suggest is to right click, go to transform, and fit to comp. Should do it automatically for you and uh, do it to the other video as well. Transform, fit to comp. Uh, let's say you wanna put some text at the beginning of, the, of your movie. You can go up to the very top and select this horizontal type tool and just click anywhere on the screen and it should place down a text layer. All right, take a look at the timeline. You can see that uh, the text is its own layer on the very top. Here the text lasts for an entire minute. Uh, that's way too long. So we can truncate the layer by selecting the right side of the layer and just drag it in. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I only want the text to appear for five seconds. So I can drag this out to about five seconds. And I want it to fade in and fade out. So uh, select the pull down, transform. I'm gonna place a keyframe at about one second here, an opacity keyframe, click this button, that drops down uh, an opacity keyframe at 100% opacity at one second, and uh, go back to zero, drag the opacity down to 0%. You can see the text will go from 0% at the start up to 100% at one second. Okay, now I want it to fade out. Go to four seconds, drop down a keyframe by clicking that button, and go to the end of the text layer, and go down to 0%, and uh, you can see these four keyframes here. Let's preview the whole thing. The next thing you probably want to do is add some music to your Fraps video. So what I'm going to do is go to the File menu, select Import, File. I'm going to select an MP3 and drag the MP3 down to the timeline. So how to make all these things match up? That takes a little bit of time and you might have to go in and edit the audio 
a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Down on the audio layer, pull down the audio tab, pull down the waveform tab and you can see the waveform up here. Let's go over to the end of the video and basically what I want to do here is have the, the audio fade out uh, near the end of the video. I'm going to zoom in and again I'm going to use keyframes. Uh, click the audio levels keyframe button. That'll drop down a keyframe. And then at the end of the video, reduce the audio levels down to minus 48. So let's preview that sound. The last thing I want to do is mute the audio on the video track. I don't want to hear the, the ventrilo talking. Um, it's up to you if you want to hear that, but uh, to mute it, you can simply deselect these audio buttons and the audio goes away. Okay, so, uh, so far we have stitched some Fraps files together. We added some text at the beginning of the video and we've dropped down uh, some audio onto the video. All right, we're pretty much done. Let's get ready to export this video. So right before we export, go to the end of the timeline and drag the work area bar over to where you want the video to end. And I want the video to end right here. Zoom in and you can see the, uh, I dragged the work area bar to the end of the video, the audio fades out. I can even make the video fade out if I want. Uh, if I drag this down, transform, uh, drop down an opacity keyframe, move the work area selection tool, and uh, just drag this to the end of the video and bring down the opacity. Both the video and the audio uh, should fade out to zero at the very end of the movie. To export the video, go to the Composition menu, select Add to Render Queue, and let's take a look at each one of these options in the Render Queue. Under Render Settings, click here, and uh, the default is usually good, so just click OK. Here, let's take a look at the Output Module. We want the format to be H.264. Click the Format Options button uh, under the Video tab, Profile High, Level 5.1, you can click a variable bitrate for 720 from about 6 to 12 is good uh, but for 1080 you need to go a little higher in this example I'll go 15 to 24 click OK uh, we want audio so click this audio output button and format options AAC high 192 kbps click OK click OK uh, select the output destination click save and begin the render All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.